I filmed today was me making matcha. So hey, hello, welcome back to another video. I'm kind of losing my voice right now. I went to Santa Rosa for a couple of days to visit my aunt for her birthday, and I'm not kidding, every time I see Jamari, he has snot running down his nose because he has allergies, <clears throat> but I'm convinced it gets me sick every single time. Even though I feel fine, it's more like my throat. Yeah, that's fine. I don't love it, but it's... I like that more. Point is, my throat is hurting and it's kind of sore and today's the day that I was like, I'm gonna film a bunch of content of me talking <clears throat> and it's just <clears throat> not feeling like that's maybe the smartest option for me to do. But whatever, we're here, we're starting the day. I'm about to heat myself up a meal because I'm absolutely starving. I have, oh my God, talking is so, I just don't even, I don't even, like scratchy. Yeah, and I also just like don't even want to be talking. Got my meals by Nutrition by Cass. I get five meals a week, but they are literally always delicious. They always help me when I'm in a pinch. They're packed with protein. She really cares about what she's putting into the food. She tries to go as organic and natural as possible. And these are one of the top favorites. They're the chicken enchiladas and they just hit every single time. So I'm excited. I'm going to heat this up right now. And also getting in 50 grams of protein. So it's a great day. <clears throat> um, 50 grams? 50 grams of protein. Ryan is home. I'm home. He's making eggs. Do you have anything you want to say? I love eggs. Uh, that was a great contribution to the conversation. Thank you. No, thank you. Honestly, I feel like shit. So, uh, do you guys like my makeup? I actually also really like my hair today. It's giving, uh, it's, I don't know what it's giving, but I feel cute. So that's all that matters. My energy is whack right now. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm at that point of the day. I'm like, okay, I'm tired. I don't want to go on anymore. Oh. Oh, what? I keep getting spam emails from Go Yard, but it, it's not Go Yard. Oh, that almost knocked your block. Did you pass me a lid from down there? I hate when you ask me to pass me a lid. This is too big of a lid. Well, maybe that was all I had. Maybe you pressed me. Baby, why is my. Ugh. Oh. Ryan went to his car and he was in, he was, hello, he was on a phone call and he was like, oh, I kept seeing something like a paper wave on my windshield wipers and I was like, fuck, somebody probably wrote me a note or like, you know, was being annoying, like you didn't park right, whatever, which doesn't even make sense because Ryan parks really great. But anyway, he's like, yeah, it says, haven't stopped thinking about your blue dress. And then Ryan, and then Ryan edited, it. clearly this guy like went to the wrong car. Unless Ryan has something to share with the class. Then he sent me, he sent me this. Like, where did you even get this picture from? I just typed in Margella blue dress. Margella specifically. That was so, so funny. And I was like, saying that maybe me or him should message him and just let him know like, hey, you put it on. Like, I was thinking it might soften the blow if it came from me saying. No, just <clears throat> Not say anything. I know, but he's gonna think that this girl just never responded to him. It is currently 12 and I woke up 100% sick. I went to bed 100% sick. <coughs> I started getting sick on Saturday, but I was like, no, no, it's just allergies. I'm honestly not really sure what this sickness is though, because I have a cough, my throat is super inflamed, my chest is aching, my back is aching, but like I don't have a fever. I'm not super congested up here and typically when I get sick like this, it's worse, but I am still spitting out like loogies, you know, like brown loogies and stuff. I don't really know what it is, so we're just gonna play it by ear. I feel like fucking shit, though. I really, really don't feel great. Thank God for Ryan, though, because he fed the dogs. He took them potty, fed the kitty. He's been here working. He made me tea, and then I slept through it. So then when I woke up, he... I love holding him. He hates it. I know, but you're so cute. Okay. I'm so tired. What do you want from me? He wants treats. Oh, did he not give you wet food? Hold on. I feel so bad because I normally have so much more energy at this time and I'll normally take a break from work and play with the dogs for like 15, 20 minutes. I don't have the energy. So I'm gonna give them little bones. You guys have been such good boys. Off you go.
Honestly, now as I'm walking, the best thing I could have done, oh my God, my voice, was get myself out of the house. Cause it just feels good to like get some fresh air. Like I definitely want to go home immediately after this, but I'm glad that I'm doing this. My fucking voice. I'm also very glad I brought Prince. Headed to Verve and I'm just gonna sit outside on the balcony, eat my acai bowl. I have no complaints. Fun fact, a couple days ago I was walking this path. As I was walking back, I noticed there was like a, a big cart that like a homeless person would have filled with random shit and a fucking dog. And the dog was probably chained up 12 inches from that area. And like, look, some homeless people take better care of their dogs than people who are not homeless. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it an hour or two. It wasn't a hot day, it was in the shade. I'm gonna give it an hour or two. And if it's still here, then I'm gonna do something. So I came back about two and a half hours later. Other people in the neighborhood had also been kind of keeping their eye out. This is where he was. This is actually the shit that we use to feed the dog and give it treats and stuff. So we're gonna throw this away now. You know me, I obviously recorded it. I'll let that footage play, it's all in vertical, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. Sorry, honey. I'll check back on you. I'll check back. I'll check back. I know, baby. Ugh. I know, honey. We're gonna go for a little ride. Here, you wanna get there? Gonna find a home. I know it. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Has he never car? been in a car? Oh, has he never been inside? It's okay. All right. We ended up, uh, me and another girl, her friend, and my friend Liana, banded together, found a rescue. My God, he was the sweetest dog ever. And the worst part is the second we took him off the chain, because he was so close to all the stuff and he didn't really have a lot of area to move around, he was peeing and pooping at the same time. Like he lifted his leg and poop was just coming out because obviously a dog doesn't want to shit where it sleeps. I'm thinking of going and checking on him soon. He had no chip, they took him in. I definitely think he'll be able to find a home quickly just because he was just such a good boy. Anyway, we're at work now. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> sure. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> I'm happy. This has made my day. Good boy, Buffy. home now and this girl named Joanne, Joanne if you're watching, hey, she let me go through her website and pick a matcha bowl out for myself and Joanne thank you so much in advance, I'm so excited to open this up. What are you doing here? I will make sure to leave her website and Instagram linked down below. Also got a little note. These are microwave and dishwasher safe, but hand washing is recommended for longevity. Thank you so much for supporting my small business. I hope this matcha bolt brings you happiness. Every time you make a matcha. That's so cute. Definitely will, I can already tell you that. Okay, I decided I also need to make a TikTok of it, so please never get your attention. Actually, just keep watching. Okay, here we go. Is this not the most precious bowl? And it even has the little spout so you can pour it. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Joanne, thank you so much. Good morning. I'm telling you, the secret to feeling better is just having an entire day to sleep. And of course, I'm saying that as somebody without children and somebody who works from home. But if you could take one day for sick leave, hopefully you have a partner or a roommate who can help you. I literally slept probably 15 hours hours of the day yesterday. I slept so much. I got all the rest that I needed. Ryan was amazing. He helped me with the pups. He made me tea. He even got me soup one of the days. But I'm telling you, yesterday was the day that I probably felt the crummiest and I feel 
so much better today. My voice is still a little bit gone and I still have a cough, but I feel like I could go to the gym. I feel like I wanna go out and do things today. So thank goodness. I was gonna make my matcha this morning today too with my, my bowl. She's on the counter just waiting to be used, but Ryan made me coffee while I was washing my hair. So maybe I'll make myself a matcha later. I don't know. Definitely tomorrow though. I'm so excited. Got some Maru coffee beans in here, some Oatly and one to two pumps of Monin vanilla syrup. <laughs> with the pork chop pockets. And the pork chop. You can also flip it and it's reversible. It's the regular size. Wow. Damn, lucky enough to get a fitting room with a mirror in it. Why not? No, a lot of them you have to step out and go like try it on it and then they'll come. Maybe because you're with me. I like it. That's good. I like the front. Really? I think I just like will need to layer it with like a jacket. Obviously it's very cute from the back. It looks good, baby. Put your shoes on so you can see what it looks like with shoes. Dude, it looks crazy with those little socks. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. With like some strappy heels, just forget about the socks. This is pretty cool. Like just this. Try it medium. Do 360. Long ass, ugh. What did I do wrong? Maybe <laughs> you need to It looks so cool on you. This. Oh, yes. Next stop. How you doing, baby? Getting tired. <laughs>
Jeff is, you can always put whatever it's right there. Oh my gosh, amazing! <laughs> oh my god, that just made my day. Now you're in a. I'm not a weirdo. I what was your I'm name? Farah. Farah, yeah. nice to meet you. I feel like I've been watching you since like I was like 18. I'm 26 now. Oh my god, wow. yeah. I've been doing this for 10 years. So yeah. that is kind of awesome. crazy. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, people. yes. My friends please. will be like, oh my god. No, yeah, let's do it. Sorry, my voice is so gross. No, you like just got a flashlight. Did you? One, two, three, let's do one more. One, two, three. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you should definitely go to Tokyo. No, yeah, that's We were good. just talking about that, yeah. yeah you like have to go. No. Yeah. I want to go back like right now. I want to move he, there. He actually. wants to do it for, uh, we're turning 30 in July, and we're yeah. like, oh, maybe we do it for our 30th. And I was like, no, I want to go somewhere tropical. But now I'm like hearing yeah. this, I'm like, okay, fuck it, maybe we just no, I've I, I, I been on, like, wanting to go on a tropical vacation way for a while. Yeah. But I like, I'm so happy I went well, to Japan. Well, he's like also never left the country, so oh it's going to be insane for him to be anywhere. Yeah. But maybe, fuck it. Maybe I mean, it's fun too because you're in like a completely different environment. Like, nobody speaks. English, right? Like oh, some yeah, people yeah. do, but they like really don't, like they don't give a fuck about learning English, which is kind of cool. Wow. And I respect that. Yeah. So yeah. you have to use like Google How Translate. How long did you go for? Like two weeks. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. What you would have to do. I've gotten so bad at filming outros for my videos. I don't know why. We're working on it. When actually, I do know why. That can be a whole video in and of itself. Uh, I have ADHD, which like makes so much of my life make sense. There's a whole video that I'm probably gonna release if not this week, next week. And it just like shows my ADHD. Regardless, we could talk about that another time. I saw a psychiatrist, she was like, oh, it's pretty glaringly obvious to me that you have this, which I don't wanna say yet because I'm sort of convinced that it was a misdiagnosis. I started a new therapist today. Regardless, what I wanted to talk about is this book because as you guys know, I am on my finance journey. The reason I wanna mention ADHD is because I've been doing a lot of research so that I can better understand myself and the things that I've been struggling with pretty much my entire life. And I realized uh, that I have a serious, not even an issue, but basically people with ADHD typically don't release enough dopamine or there's like a shortage of dopamine. With that, we kind of like find new hobbies and things to hyper fixate on until we get completely bored of it. And so I have hyper fixated on finances for, I don't know, since I started making finance videos a couple of months ago. And that's not to say that I'm not as interested in sharing my journey about finances and I'm not super passionate about it and I still love learning about it, but I was truly hyper fixated on it. Like I was following a bunch of finance accounts. I was reading a bunch of Reddit threads. I was reading blogs. I was listening to videos, I started reading this book, and I just got like super, super honed in on it, which I have no regrets with. And if anything, I'm actually grateful because typically when a hyper fixation fades away, you just like don't care about it anymore. I do still care about it. I still need to make changes in my life. Time just went on where I wasn't talking about this book because I was getting hyper fixated on the next thing, which you guys will hear about in my next video. But I do have to mention this book. I was gifted this book by a friend like three years ago. At the time, I don't really think I had an interest in it. And to be honest, it's probably because I knew that it was gonna call me out on a bunch of shit that I was not ready to be called out on at the time. But this book has made me feel so seen, but it's also offered me so many different perspectives. Basically this guy breaks down the psychology of money into different chapters and each chapter is some sort of a short story about an entrepreneur about and they're all true stories about entrepreneurs ceos um janitors like just all of these different categories of people and how their financial choices have affected them and gotten them to where they are it touches on a bunch of historical events but the way he writes kind of reminds me of james clear from atomic habit it's very inviting it's very easy to follow i had so many Pivotal breakthroughs when reading this book. It really made me excited to see money from a different perspective. And it also in ways took away a lot of the blame that I've placed on myself because he talks about how we all have to understand that we have different relationships with money and oftentimes it is generational from the way that we were raised around money too and how sometimes we need to go through losing everything or hitting rock bottom to actually learn the lesson even if people were spoon feeding it to us before which for me it was like okay thank you i needed to hear that because i always feel so guilty about it but if there's any book if you are getting into finance and you just like want something that's not going to be too overwhelming and really is just easy to digest and interesting and kind of have aha moments please check this book out this is the first book that I was like, damn, I wish that I annotated because I do not annotate books at all. It's the least interesting thing to me. Like I just, I mean, I should have at least 
put some highlights in here. I just wanted to close off the video by saying that. And I do wanna get back to posting my finance videos. I definitely haven't been as good about it, but honestly, there just hasn't been much to report. I'm still waiting for money to come in before I can make my big financial changes, but I know you guys really enjoyed me breaking down my spending. So maybe I can do a breakdown of my spending in April and just kind of revisit how I'm feeling about things and all of that. So if you guys want that, let me know. I am feeling a little crummy today. I really wanna get in bed. I also have PMDD, so it's not really surprising because I am about nine days out for my period, so it's not surprising that I'm feeling this way. But I'm trying to roll through it. I'm trying to just wave myself through and not let it eat me alive. Thankfully, my voice is coming back. This is the first day that it's sounded relatively normal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.